And, and Ocasio Cortez was recently caught. I can't remember where it was, but in this coming out of this giant SUV that she was being driven around in, um, you know, after telling everybody that they need to cut down on travel more or less in order to preserve the environment. Free Talk Live. Let's go to Matthew calling in from Louisiana. Matthew, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening, gentlemen. So, have y'all had a chance to see Senator Mike Lee's epic takedown of the Green New Deal? Yes, I Senate have. Bill? I have seen this. We did talk about this on on the Call to Freedom, which is the show right before this on LRN.FM. So uh, that's in oh, the archives. It is there, political comedy gold. Oh yes, I've... he is now a general in the meme war. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So what do you, give, give me some I, idea what happened here. Oh, he, he does some relations to cartoon characters. I don't really want to be a spoiler, but something about, you know. Well, you got to get people to listen, though. You know, it, it's it's right, got to be right. just, just a little bit more than it's great. <laughs> Te- tease us enough so we go Google it. Right. Though. So basically we have to. Uh, I'd say more YouTube it, but basically more along the lines of we have to corner the market on the giant seahorse. Uh, giant to, because otherwise the China, Chinese are going to beat us to it. <laughs> I don't know. What it, I don't get any of this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael, can you uh, tell me what happened here? I will. I will try to. Uh, so what's the senator's name? I Mike Lee. Mike Michael, Lee. Mike Lee. It's from, Utah. Yeah. yeah, from Utah. Just go uh, ahead and spoil. I mean, for goodness sake. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. So basically, uh, because you can't use air transportation up in Alaska, where they use a lot of airplanes to get around yeah. during the wintertime, you're going to have to instead use tauntauns. Tauntauns. Now, That's might, right. You're right. Right. Which this is might the... be a little difficult to get, but they're useful as warm uh, as shelter, just in case, you know. From the ice planet Hoth. About that. Yeah. yeah. Right, from the planet Hoth, obviously. So there's a few things we have to overcome, like faster than light travel, time travel. He doesn't mention any of that. But then there is, in order to get to Hawaii, we'll just have to uh, see if we can get Aquaman to help us out with the seahorses. Yeah, we'll get trained <laughs> seahorses from Atlantis. I, I I think Vermin right, Supreme's right. going to take advantage of this with his uh, you know free ponies party, you know he. Oh my God! Know, I mean Absolutely. AOC essentially you know is you know, um you know trolling Vermin Supreme here as far as I'm concerned if she's <laughs> been paying attention with the Green New Deal. Oh yeah, I can see it now. This is like uh, instead of free po- pony nomics. Seahorse-anomics. You know, it's worth How pointing out, live. for those that might think that somehow the world was better when we all rode, rode horses, uh, I oh. mean, <laughs> there are plenty of stories from the mid to late 1800s where New York, London, the largest cities in the world at the time... New Orleans? Were, 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 I mean, the, the, the people were up to their knees in horse poo. I mean, they they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. It's it's like the great S catastrophe. Uh, um, they they had no way to handle all this. No, you do not want a world where we're running around on horses. It may seem somehow better or whatever. I know they do it in the science fiction. No, it doesn't work. It's I, a bad idea. I've cleaned many stalls and many pastures. And I've done a lot of driving of horses and studied a lot of the history. And one of the uh, biggest downfalls of the city before the automobile was the fact that the horse manure was all over the place. And then what would happen is it would it would rain, so it turns into like a mush, like yeah. it almost turns into like pl- you know wet plaster. And then it sun comes out and it dries and it hardens. And then the bugs, you know, eggs start. I mean, the bugs that you have from horse manure and oh. as you know, um, pig manure. Is um, it, it, it's just extreme, and yep. you know, it's it, it's a perfect um, perfect you know, incubator little spot for them, yeah, for 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 the bugs, and then the carrying of diseases and all the stuff. Yes, these um cars that are burning this so-called fossil fuel, which I hate that term for oil, uh, you know, are much much cleaner it than horses. May and not be a fossil. It's definitely not a fossil fuel. <laughs> right. Well, uh, well, hydrocarbon probably is a better term. Um, and, and Ocasio-Cortez was recently caught, I can't remember where it was, but in this, coming out of this giant SUV that she was being driven around in, um, you know, after telling everybody that they need to cut down on travel, more or less, in order to preserve the environment. 
It's, Guys, can I interrupt for a second? Yeah, go ahead. There is a reason why pointing out hypocrisy with these people doesn't work. And it, it's a friend of mine from way back in the day explained it to me because he, he comes from, a, uh, you know, the old days of the Black Panthers where, you know, they all believed in the, the Marxist ideal. They will cut their quote unquote leader men a tremendous amount of slack about what they're entitled to. I, uh, they, they must be. They must be willing to, uh, you know, in their own minds, uh, be a hypocritic. Uh, I, I mean, to me, I'd say we all be better off if the if the politicians weren't allowed to use anything with a combustion engine. Let's start <laughs> there. Well, you know, you'll end up with Ronald Reagan on a they velociraptor. Know. Fine. If if they can put a politician on a velociraptor, get him and get him into uh, you know to please bring all the deadly lizards you want to bring into the Capitol building, please. I'm begging you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Matthew. Parasites there. We need to clean up these parasites. Yeah. I, I mean, if these people. If these people would simply, this is what I was trying to point out with this previous uh, thing about the police officer uh, probably going to be let off, uh, slapped on the wrist for the the, the killing of their child by accident, uh, the manslaughter of their child, um, is that these, there is no rule of law. I know, I look, I'm a Republican people, I know you guys love the rule of law, and I'm with you. If we could have a society where everybody had to follow the same rules, that'd be awesome. But put away the unicorns and the velociraptors, the seahorses and the tauntauns for a minute. Stop playing with your little imaginary toys. It's never going to happen. The cops don't have to follow their own rules. The politicians darn sure don't have to. Come on. In a world where you can't get a cop to pull a cop over for running through a stop sign, you think that that politicians are going to make it so that they and captains of industry have to follow the same rules you do? <laughs> Stop acting like a surf. Well, this Stop is, it. This is why people become politicians, because they lust for this power over others. I, I constantly say government is nothing but a platform for psychopaths. It, it, who want it, to rule people. Yeah, that's it. And and once you get into that power, even if you got in for the very best reasons, I presume Ocasio-Cortez and Sanders and lots of these people got in for the very best reasons. Power corrupts. I've seen this in my little Bondsville, Massachusetts fire department that had 21 members. And when a guy became a lieutenant, he just started bossing everybody around. And the only reason he became a lieutenant because nobody wanted to be a lieutenant. Sure. And he just thought he was on a power trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. You watch that truck. You do this. He just just instantly, like, drop of a hat. Yeah, well, it wasn't like that at my my department. Um, all the officers had to wash the truck. I mean, they they, they, had, they were assigned a truck and they had to wash it. But uh, not everyone's the same. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's true. Free Talk Live. Listen live 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern or grab the podcast. It's all at freetalklive.com. 